In this video, I'm going to explain how to turn one LinkedIn piece of content into eight pieces of content using ChatGPT. And you might be asking yourself, why should I bother doing that? What's the point in producing lots of content from one piece of content? I just want to ask everybody a question. How many social media platforms do you use? Or how many platforms do members of your family or your potential clients or even your clients use? If your answer is a reflection on the statistics, it will be more than one. So the question no longer in this day and age is which social media platforms should I target? The question becomes, where are my potential clients? And more often than not, your potential clients are using multiple platforms. And if you're not doing it, there's going to be lots of people using a process like I'm just about to show you in order to repurpose and multiply one piece of content so that you have multiple pieces of content. Let me just go over to my screen. We will cover how to take one video of five minutes, five to 10 minutes, and turn it into one YouTube video, a podcast episode, removing the audio. And by the way, the headline, the summary, the tags, the episode title, the email to promo it, promo it, subject line, short body, long body, social media post, blog for website, post blog to newsletter, break out into three small social media posts and a bonus how to create YouTube shorts from it and then outsource. And by the way, before ChatGPT came along, we've been doing this for a long time and this took a lot of work. It may not seem like it's a lot of work, but the time involved with managing a virtual assistant, recruiting a virtual assistant, replacing them when they went, checking their copy, making sure the copy was in my voice, all that sort of stuff. It was a real pain, but ChatGPT and all the prompts that I'm going to show you, they're all down here, lots of them, have made it really, really simple to do this. And I will link that document that you can see on the screen below this video. So you can give this video to a virtual assistant or you can just come back to it for reference in conjunction with the prompts so that you can multiply your content. All of the software that I'm going to show you today is free. You can use ChatGPT, the free version. I'm going to be using the pro version or whatever it's called so that I can do this video without worrying about it going down. Let's jump into the process. Now, the first thing I do is I record a video of five minutes. You can do it live or you can do it recorded. It doesn't really matter. All I would recommend is talking about something you enjoy and something that can help your potential prospect. The best way to show someone that you can help them is by actually helping them. So let's imagine that you now have that video file. You would then use a piece of software which has a free version called Descript.com. I'm on the website here to show you how to use it. Well, some serious graphics there, isn't there? Let's, let's get them out of the way. And it's DE Script, Delta Echo Script, like music, movie script.com. The pricing here, it's free and you've got one hour a month of transcription. This is really, really important. ChatGPT is only as good as the input you give it. So if you give it your own individual input, your own individual voice transcribed, you're going to get an individual and high quality output. This is really, really important. You would go into Descript, you would go see a screen like something like this. At the top right, you would, well, you would just go into your drive or private workspace, either of them. Let's go to my drive, click new project. That would come up there and all you would do is you would go to the desktop. I have one ready. It's a video I recorded. I'm just going to drag it in there until the purple bar shows. And what it's going to do is it's going to transcribe the video. Then all you need to do is press Command A. I'm on a Mac, whatever you do. And then Command C and copy all of the transcript. That's all you need to do. Copy all of the transcript and we're ready for the next phase. Go to ChatGPT, and the first one we're going to do is we're going to create a YouTube video. And the first thing we're going to do is create a YouTube video. In order to create the YouTube video, we need to make a headline, and we need to make a summary, and we need to make some tags so that you can upload it and be consistent with their process. So let's go and cut and paste it in there and go to the first transcript, the first prompt. Can you give me five ideas for a YouTube video headline based on this script. I'm gonna put it in front there. Oh, front there, sorry. There we go. That's too long. So what I'm going to suggest is, is shorten them. Now, can you 
shorten them. There we go. Good. And I would actually go with effective B2B follow-up, why YouTube videos work better. We've got that. Now, I'm going to get the next one. And can you give me a five bullet summary for the YouTube video? Based on the transcript I pasted above. Just adjusting them as we go along. LinkedIn follow up messages are not effective. Yeah, perfect. And next, yeah, that's a summary of the video. Next, can you tell me 10 YouTube chat tags I should use based on the, the transcript above? There we go. Yep, perfect. So now we are ready to post that video onto YouTube and we have everything we need in order to do that. And we don't need to employ a virtual assistant, manage a virtual assistant, check up on a copywriter or any of that. Next, can you give me five ideas for a podcast episode based on this script? I would actually use the YouTube tagline. That's exactly what I would do for this. It's good enough. And I would use the same summary. So I, and by the way, this is something we've actually been doing. We've been using our YouTube headline and the YouTube video summary like I just showed you for the podcast episodes. But you might need, let's move to the next part of this, which is email to promo it. So what I now want to do is I want to promote this LinkedIn video to my email list and to other platforms. So I need to create a social media post and then an email with an email headline in order to promote it. So let's go down and do that. So let's go get this prompt here. Can you create an email that summarizes why it'd be useful to people to watch this episode and finish with a call to action? See what it gets. Okay, there we go. Now just the email, so it's for a podcast episode, not a YouTube video. So this, by the way, is an excellent email. You've got all the bullet points there, and it should give me a call to action there at the end, which, which is just basically getting them to click it. Then once you've done that, you would just go to now adjust this for a social media post. This is looking really good, right? Really, really good. This is good enough and it's it's capturing my voice. This is the key thing. When you use the, the input that is a video, it's able to capture your voice and immediately get the right tonality. You don't have to ask it for the tonality. You don't have to ask it and dial it in and it's individual, it's not generic. And if you wish, you could just say, could you shorten this email? Could you lengthen this email? Could you shorten this social media post? Could you lengthen this social media post? And you're easily able to adjust it. But let's create it into a blog. This is giving me a blog post structure as opposed to a blog post, which is fine. But we'll just get it, we'll get it to, after this, write the actual blog post but it's a good way to check the structure and that's exactly what it's doing now let's say an 800 word blog post that we can also put on linkedin newsletter there we go it's going to make it into an 800 word blog post this is the magic this is where it really really produces because you can put this straight onto your website you can put it below the podcast on your website. You can put it in a separate blog post on the website and you can put it in a LinkedIn newsletter and it really, really excels. Bonus, how to create YouTube shorts for them and then outsource. This is the absolute bonus at the end of it. Let's go back to Descript and you can do this on the free plan. If you go into Descript, this is the video that I transcribed. So I'm just gonna pull a seg segment out of it there. Let's say I want to make that into a short, that section there. I'm going to go duplicate to new composition. Then I'm going to click at the bottom there and it's created a clip. And then I'm going to go up here, click where this circle is. I'm gonna go portrait and I'm going to, and this is how I do all my shorts, all my team does. I'm just gonna drag it across just like that and I have a short and how long is that at the bottom? Let's just have a look at the bottom. You can see at the bottom how long that is. It's one minute 20 and I would just edit it 
by editing there to take it down to 1 minute 14. Let's say I don't like this bit. Nearly under 1 minute. Boom. Edited. I would then go to File. Composition. Export. And export that short onto my desktop. And I would run through exactly the same process. I would put ChatGPT. Can you give me a YouTube headline for this? Can you give me a YouTube summary for this? And my team would do that and upload the short onto YouTube and shorts have got a lot of reach. So I hope this has been a really, really useful video. I'm just going to put up some extra YouTube. There's one here I'm going to put about how you, if you want more information on creating YouTube shorts. There's another one here about using ChatGPT for creating LinkedIn messages. All that remains for me to say is have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye bye.